Uzziah, king of Judah. He was truly one of the great kings of Judah. In the dynasty of David, we have five kings who are truly great. David's son, Solomon, of course. Uh, Jehoshaphat, we have talked about him in the past. Now Uzziah. And then his great-grandson, which was Hezekiah, was one of the great kings. And finally, the last one was Josiah. Uh, Of these, three of them controlled trade from the Mediterranean to the Red Sea. That was Solomon, Jehoshaphat, and Uzziah. Uh, He was a powerful king. Uh, He became king, the scripture says, when Jeroboam was king of Israel was interesting that he's referred to as Jeroboam II. Remember, the first king of Israel was Jeroboam. And basically the last king. So people often say that the kings of Israel went from Jeroboam to Jeroboam. In actuality, there were a few other kings after Jeroboam II, but uh, they were, it was kind of a revolution, counter-revolution, back and forth. Uh, we don't have a story about Jeroboam too because we don't have nothing in the scripture that's re- that is much recorded about him. But history shows that he was a builder. He was there during a very prosperous time. And, and uh, matter of fact, I recently visited the site of Dan where Jeroboam I put one of the golden calves. Well, he put the golden calf and built an altar there. Jeroboam II came along and built a much more elaborate altar there. And you can actually see the results of both of them. Well, that all happened right here. So we know that since we now have the Jeroboam II in Israel, we know their time is limited. Uh, they will soon go down in the, uh, in the area of, uh, of going into captivity. Uh, it talks about uh, King Uzziah being king at the same time as his son Jotham. Uh, there was a co-regency, there was a co-reigning that, that, that was going on. Uh, actually, that was very common, very common in, the, in all of the nations around about, uh, but it was common during the kings of Judah as well. David himself was co-king with his son Solomon for a short amount of time. Uh, it was a way that he could establish who was going to be king. That's how kings did that. They beca- at the end of their life, they became a cold king with the son that they wanted to be to replace them. It was interesting that it was uh, noted about Uzziah that the people made him king when his father died. That's because his father was murdered, and it was done before he could make his son a cold king. And so it says the people made him king. Now, why is that important? Well, it's only important if you're trying to... Uh, calculate how long uh, it goes from one place to the other because it said King Uzziah was king for 52 years. Jotham was king for 16 years. Doesn't take into account that you have to put those two together and they overlap. Uh, Uzziah was king for 42 years by himself and then 10 years with his son. In the same way, he was, his son was 10 years and then another six years. So, uh, 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 this is one of the times in Scripture where it actually talks about that. Uh, The catapult. It uh, was invented during Uzziah's time. It was a defensive machine. Uh, It helped to protect Jerusalem and the other walled cities. It did make King Uzziah a powerful king. He invented a, 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 a war machine that made him great. And it worked. But like anyone, any kingdom or any powerful person who invents something like gunpowder or something like that, that makes, gives them an advantage, soon everyone else has it. It helped Uzziah to be a great king for a long time. But the Assyrians got it and the, and 
The Babylonians used it. The Persians developed it to a higher skill. The Greeks made it even better. And the Romans used it to a great extent. And so, so, it, so it started right, 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 right here. The leprosy. King Uzziah was a great king, but we usually remember the fact that he went into the temple and, and he got leprosy. Interesting that uh, tradition, Jewish tradition, and actually Josephus says that the great earthquake happened at exactly the time when, uh, he, when he got leprosy. Well, that earthquake, uh, one of the great earthquakes in history happened about this time. And, um, but whether it happened exactly at the time when King Uzziah was in, in the temple, I would kind of think that the Bible would talk about that if it actually did happen. So personally, I don't think it uh, happened at exactly the same moment. We did, it did happen about the same time, though. Talking about the earthquake, it is interesting that it happened right there at the end of his reign. And it was a huge event recorded in secular history as talked about in the Bible and the prophecies. It was prophesied that it was going to happen. It was referred back to in other prophecies. Uh, it was a huge earthquake. And uh, to me, it's interesting that that earthquake kind of marks a, a change. It, it had nothing to do with causing the change. It's just interesting that it happened right at this change. See, King Uzziah was the last king of the old system. His son Jotham started the new system. The old system, it was a regional issue. There was Judah in Israel, the Moabites, the Edomites, the Ammonites, the Philistines, all this regional, the Syrians, uh, Israel, uh, uh, you have all these powers, these little nations. They were all uh, trying to control one another for the purpose of controlling the trade, north to south, south to north, and they were always in conflict. Well, the last king for that mindset was Uzziah, and he took control of all of it. Starting with Jotham, you have the beginning of the world powers, Assyria, which is actually Nineveh, uh, Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, which takes us right to the time of Christ. Uh, yes, Assyria, Nineveh was a, was a threat in Uzziah's life, but for some reason they had pulled back, whether it was because of problems in, in their nation or because of the revival that was brought about by uh, 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 Jonah. Um, Uzziah had free reign to really uh, build his kingdom. But starting with his son, the issue of Nineveh, Assyria, uh, was going to take over the entire landscape. And we'll be talking more about that next week because that's when it actually happens. And that earthquake seems to end one period of time and start a new one. Uh, I'm, although I'm not saying it actually had anything to cause it. I'm just saying it's just interesting to me that it's there. Well, come back next week when we continue on talking about this subject. Uh, when we get into the next story about, uh, uh, about, the, about the son of, uh, uh, that takes over the kingdom and who becomes a wicked king and starts this whole new era of, um, as Ahaz uh, becomes a wicked king and, and the conflict between uh, Assyria and the rest of the world. We'll see you next week.